What's good, family? ILBA. I'm TC. Okay, so y'all know, um, y'all know there's a goddamn little bit of a thing about uh, American descendants of slavery versus immigrants, legal and illegal. Now, a lot of people want to call us xenomorphs and all of that shit and call us anti-immigrant and all of these fucking things. But as I said, and as many other people have said in other videos, black Americans, we're a special motherfucking group of individuals. We have no, no body to go home to. We have nobody to go home to. We kind of a we kind of a lost people out here. We ain't got nobody but our fucking self. And nobody really wants anything to do with us. But here's the deal. In this country right here, right here, where we at right now, we're the most powerful group of individuals here right now. In this time, when this election is about to happen. See, because the white power structure, they want to have a bunch of motherfucking second generation immigrants in place of us. American descendants of slavery or foundational black Americans. They want like a buffer in between us. And that's why the, these, that's the, the, the purpose these second generation immigrants serve. But y'all, we trusted that shit with Obama. We knew Obama wasn't like us, but we voted for him anyway. We got caught up in the ideology. And y'all think that y'all pushed Kamala Harris out there and with the, uh, with the same motherfucking idea like it's going to work again? No. Now we're thinking about our best interests. Now we totally understand that immigrants don't have anything good to say about us and don't give a flying fuck about us. They want to maintain the status quo and they want to feather their own fucking nest because they know that they ain't, at the end of the day, they ain't really one of us. They can pose as us. And when somebody say, well, get us somebody black, they stick one of these people out there and they say they us. But all skin folk ain't kin folk. Come on, now. I mean... They, they got biases and prejudices among themselves, immigrants do. Fuck around and call a Jamaican a Trinidadian and see what kind of shit they talk to you. Fuck around and, and, and mistake some dude from Mexico for being from Puerto Rico. And watch what kind of motherfucking shit you get. So they got biases, just you know, but they staunchly proud of their group, of their demographic. And so are we. So this week, we flexed our muscles a little bit. Well, actually, during the last couple of months, really, when we talk about how long it's been since we've been letting people know that Kamala Harris ain't shit. Back when, right out the gate, ADOS jumped all over that. We jumped all over, all over the fact that her daddy is Jamaican and her mom is East Indian and she identifies as Indian. But she tried to perpetrate like she was us, but she's not. Her record says it, and everything she do when she's not around us says it. And yeah, even the choice of the motherfucker she got married to says it. Kamala Harris ain't nothing but a motherfucking straight-up politician. And then, aside from that, her politics, just her politics, they suck. She a corporate motherfucking Democrat. She don't give a fuck about the people. At all. Much less fucking black people. But we flexed our motherfucking muscle and we got rid of her second generation immigrant ass. Because she didn't really give a fuck about us. We got rid of her second generation immigrant ass because she didn't give a fuck about us. And that is a lot of the Congressional Black Caucus up in D.C. A lot of the motherfuckers are second and third generation immigrants. They don't, get, they don't have no ties to black America. They are not what Tariq Nasheed and them say foundational black Americans or American descendants of slavery. They ain't neither one of them. 
you know? Because like I said in my last video, they could be foundational black Americans. They could be black Americans who have been in the United States for, uh, you know, generations and never have had anybody in their family experience slavery. Because there's, I'm sure there's a group of people that fit that demographic. That to me is a foundational black American, but an American descendant of slavery, that's something else. That's us. We, we fit both. We are foundational and we are descended from slavery. So, we flexed our motherfucking muscle. We let people know that we are a powerful group and we can get rid of, or you, you, don't, you don't get nowhere unless you come to us. And there are 30 fucking million of us. Probably more. But the official count is 30 million. Black Americans whose ancestry go back to slavery. And that's a lot of goddamn people. And that's a strong fucking voting block. That is the true base of the Democratic Party. We flexed our motherfucking muscle. We let y'all know what time it is. We got rid of Kamala Harris coming out the gate. Cory Booker, he ain't got a fucking chance. Booty Judge ain't going nowhere either, just for the record. Just for the fucking record, he ain't going nowhere. Joe Biden dumber than a bag of hammers, but I can't say for sure if he don't wind up running against Donald Trump because the corporations want that motherfucker out there because he's already told them nothing's going to change. And nobody wants any fucking thing to change. The minute you start trying to really change shit, they ostracize and get rid of your ass. Look what they're doing to Bernie Sanders. Look what they're doing to Tulsi Gabbard. Neither one of them have our true interests at heart, but they're still different from the other fucking candidates in that they want to stop the fucking wars and they want to give something to the people. They want to, you know, give a fuck about the people a little bit. So the corporate Democrats and the corporate Republicans, they got to get rid of them. You see. And that is all the motherfucking politicians. That's all of them. But if they want to occupy that fucking chair, they got to come through. Or if they want to run against Donald Trump, if they want a chance at beating Donald Trump, then they got to come through the black uh, community and they got to come for real. Can't stop by the motherfucking church or the barbecue. No, 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 no. And sitting down on the motherfucking breakfast club is clearly not the answer. All you got to do is ask Kamala. You got to come to the real voices of black media, the new black media. That's who you got to come to, whether they like it or not. But we flexed our motherfucking muscle and look what happened. So I don't want, I, I, I really hate to say this, but immigrants, let that be a lesson to you. We outnumber you. We got that real power. And we codified and unified. All we want from y'all is a little fucking respect and appreciation for the doors that we open. That's all we that's all we want. That's all we demanded. And we ain't asking for it. That's how it's gonna happen. The taking down to Kamala Harris was brought about by the backlash from the ADOS family and the new voices of new black media. No matter what the motherfucking other people on ABC, CBS, Fox, and all of them tell you, that's what really happened. ADOS flexing that muscle. That's it for now, y'all. TC, and I'm out.